They are classic scenes of rural American life. Fields of green populated with colorful cattle. But how much do most of us really know about dairy cows and the role their milk plays in our daily diet? Well, here are some surprising facts. The average American drinks about 21 gallons of milk a year. And that doesn't even count ice cream sodas or cheese made from milk. There are some 9 million dairy cows in the U.S. And California is home to nearly 1.8 million of them. But despite the large number of cows in the Golden State, most residents never have the chance to interact with our bovine friends. That is, unless the cows come to you. And that's what these kids are experiencing at this Northern California elementary school. This is one of six mobile dairy classrooms traveling the state, bringing the farm to the classroom for nearly a half million youngsters each year. Are you ready to meet a special guest? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Today, the kids are meeting Snickers, a five-year-old, 1,500-pound Holstein cow. So Snickers has her tail right back there, and her tail has a very fun job. Her tail acts just like a fly swatter. Then, the highlight, a chance to see and pet a calf. Instructor Kimberly Human says she's been managing these kid and cow encounters for five years, meetings that never get old. I think it's absolutely perfect for me to actually see the light bulb go off that they can see a connection between an actual dairy cow and the milk that is in their cafeteria. That that's exactly where it comes from and that agriculture provides all of the food that they eat when it comes to all five food groups. It's all right there in front of them. I think it was amazing. The first time I ever seen a cow. It was really cool. We saw a calf and we saw a mama cow. She had two babies, except um, she's still pregnant with one. For these students, it's more than just their first cow encounter. Beyond discovering where milk comes from, they're also learning some basics of animal biology and how farmers work to protect the health of the herd while minimizing the environmental impacts dairies have on their neighbors and the planet. I think we've done a good job across agriculture trying to get that message out, but we can never do enough trying to connect where food comes from. This is something I think every young child should experience, and not just in California, but across the country. The Dairy Council of California actually started this cow on campus program way back in the 1930s. Over the years, they've integrated their agricultural information with other classroom subjects, including language arts, math, and science. So we're learning what nutrition is, what does that look like to be a healthy eater, and then the children are also writing about what they've learned, what they've experienced. So typically you'll see a teacher take one lesson and apply it across the curriculum so that the students are able to show what they know and they understand. It's just so engaging to see the kids really, you know, take a hold of this education and take the messages back to their families, back to their classroom, back to their cafeteria. When the petting is done and all the questions answered, it's time for Kimberly to secure mom and baby cow back inside the trailer. Then it's on to the next school and the next group of kids, teachers, and even parents. A chance for them to reconnect to the land, even for only a day.